Aerial photographs from the Chinese province of Anchui show unusual squares. To find out what this is all about, we travel to the east of China. More precisely, to the metropolis of Huainan. We have arranged to meet Wing Ju. He's a boatman. After you. Thanks, I'll go first. A boat that does not exactly inspire confidence. Boat driver Ju explains, there used to be a coal mine here. The lake is artificial. Now we can also see what's swimming there. Thousands of solar panels float on the water surface. In the center of the installation, we meet Hugh De Hai. Hello. Good day. The 33-year-old engineer supplies 25,000 households with green electricity. But it is not as simple as it sounds. We have some challenges here. Wind and waves have a great influence on stability. Because the solar cells are extremely delicate, a medium-sized wave can destroy the sensitive technology. From the air, the scale of the gigantic installation becomes clear. There are more than 160,000 panels. Each of them is about two square meters in size. This makes it the largest floating solar power plant in the world. Hugh de Hai will be walking along the entire solar farm today. He is on the lookout for faults. In the worst case, even a small problem could mean the failure of the entire plant. The technology is only two months old. Nothing must go wrong, especially at the beginning. The panels are put together like Lego bricks and screwed together. This way the solar farm can continue to grow. And the new system has even more advantages. Above the water surface, the air is much cleaner. This means we don't have to clean as often. But the most important thing is that the water cools the solar cells. This makes the solar panels work much more efficiently. In other words, the panels work fast enough even under the summer sun. Systems on land need more time to convert the sun's energy into electricity. And this is how the floating solar system is built. These elements are the driving force. They are filled with air and keep the park above water. Over the next few weeks, another 40,000 square meters are to be built like this, the equivalent of a large furniture store. The workers are very careful with the sensitive technology. That's why they mop up here almost daily. Every grain of dust reduces the performance. If we clean here, the sun can be used much better. It's not a difficult task, it's just too hot here. <laughs> they clean panel by panel using standard mops. That's a lot of work with 160,000 solar panels on an area of 140 football pitches. On the other side, workers are wiring the latest section of the floating solar farm. As soon as this work is completed, even more electricity will be produced here. I'm proud to be part of the energy revolution in our country. <laughs> and with this solar park, the government wants to supply even more households. The plant is growing daily. Up to 100 modules are added every day. According to the manufacturer, they'll last for up to 12 years. Would this technology also work in the North Sea? In those places where the waves are too big, the floating solar park can't be used at the moment. In inland waters or shallow lakes, however, it works very well. In other words, we won't see this impressive picture so quickly in the Baltic or North Sea. 
but maybe in one of 15,000 or so German lakes perhaps, as the manufacturers also deliver their products to Germany. Just like in China, this impressive technology could also revolutionize our energy production.